dance with Johnny. He pressed me against a locker. He drove it in, he drove it home, he drove it deep. And Johnny, the boy, disappeared. Johnny fell on his knees, started crashing his head again. And then I got a camera when I, it was probably about 99 or 2000, and I just started taking pictures of my friends. And who were pretty interesting characters at the time, and I just fell in love with it, and I started taking pictures of everything. Horses, 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 coming in in all directions, white, shining, silver, studs with their nose in flames. He saw horses, 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 horses. Well, usually it's colors and lighting and sometimes really it is just inanimate objects sometimes like I had this beer can on my back porch from a, a party that my neighbors had and it was just sitting there for days and days and days and I was outside you know smoking and drinking some coffee in the morning and the light hit it just a certain way and it was PBR for crying out loud so I was like I gotta do something with this about 70 bucks. This little Sony camera, I think it might be one of the first digital cameras ever made. I don't know, can you see the LCD screen? Oh yeah. Because I don't know what I have until I get home. When I go out to see bands, like I went to the Crumbs show, the last one that was here, and shot them with this thing. And you know, if you've been to a Crumbs show, that Larry never stands still. And I really, dark lighting and Larry moving around is really hard to get. Like, like, like. Like I can hear music in my head sometimes. So Patti Smith's a big influence of mine. Um, I just think she's completely brilliant. And she's one of those people that also changed my life at a really early age. I'm an artist and I'm free because I can leap up and scream. I can put my fists up in the air. I don't give a shit. Um, I saw her on Saturday Night Live. I think I was 11 maybe. I got to stay up late on the weekends. And she came out and I had never seen anything like that in my life. It was always like Joni Mitchell-y, you know, kind of safe. And then Patti Smith came out and I was just like, what was that? Kickstarter.com is a website that helps artists get funding for their projects and it's an all-or-nothing kind of thing you set a goal a certain amount of money and you have a certain amount of time to do it my big vision I thought about it later after I started the Kickstarter project was I think I have something here I'm thinking this is something that can happen once or twice a year but not just with me as an artist in it but with all kinds of local artists and have like a big rock and roll art show thing a couple times a year you know and I think that would be something that would be great for this area it gives me a reason to give, get up in the morning, you know, quitting the, I was in fine dining or casual fine dining for a good 25 years and being able to get up and work my ass off for something that is my passion and not somebody else's passion, it gives me a reason to give up, get up, so I just want to keep, just want to keep going, just keep going and go to kickstarter.com. <laughs> Don't you all fade away? Try to dig what we all say.